A woman who takes pride in making her Dallas neighborhood safer found out that going on Crime Watch Patrol is dangerous because somebody opened fire on her. Fox 4's Lynn Coano joins us now with more on this pretty close call. Lynn. Heather, this is a very proactive neighborhood. There are surveillance cameras and residents keep watch. One of those even put herself in the line of fire while following a suspicious car. You know, I can't believe I'd do this. Diane Mott has been patrolling her Northeast Dallas neighborhood for about 10 years as head of the Crime Watch program. But for the first time in that time, she became a victim of a crime. Oh my God, they're shooting at me. Last month, she says she was shot at by someone hanging out of an SUV that didn't belong in the neighborhood. So I got in behind it and started following it to get the tag number. Her car was shot three times. The bumper was hit by one of the bullets. Diane swerved to the left lane. The other two bullets went right through the passenger side of her windshield. One went through the, the windshield, lodged in the headrest. One landed in the back seat, which fragmented. Had she not reacted and bolted into the left lane out of pure instinct, I think the second bullet through the windshield would have hit her. The shooting was the result of surveillance cameras the Richland Park Estates Neighborhood Association purchased to put on homes and fences. Nine in two years. Homeowners can watch for suspicious cars and people on their computer. It was a neighbor monitoring the cameras that first noticed the SUV parked alongside an alley with the lights out and the engine running. The neighbor got suspicious and called Diane. Within minutes, she was behind the SUV and the bullets started flying. I was stinging in my eye. Something was in my eye. Other than bullet fragments in her eyes and arms, she's fine. Diane is so passionate about her crime watch duties in the neighborhood. Dallas police say they have leads. They even found the car, but so far no arrest. Meanwhile, Diane, who is very passionate about her crime watch, continues to patrol. But now she says she's armed. Live in Northeast Dallas, I'm Lynn Kawano, Fox 4 News.